one hey we are live live on youtube hey guys i'm just waiting for my video to start and then uh, we can get going so i can bring the chat in and all that and see how many people are actually in oh there's a whole bunch of people already in waiting sorry to keep you waiting pop out chat bring it on to my front axle the front thing Welcome to another evening of fun and chatting with a whole bunch of people. And tonight we have a special guest with us, and it is uh, Brad Kalman. Happy birthday, buddy! Thank you. So it's actually, Brad's it's tomorrow, birthday. But, uh, actually, tomorrow, but right, got to do it today. Yeah, it's tomorrow, but I had to do it today because my show's today. So Brad, for his birthday, actually went out and got himself a nice haircut. So ah, yeah, uh, right. We'll call it spiky for tonight. And uh, we have Tony with us and uh, John Martin is with us also tonight for now. And uh, if you guys want to join in, you're more than welcome to join in. I'll put the link into the chat real quick. Uh, invite people. And uh, I asked Brad to uh, tell me a couple things or send me some links of some stuff he'd want to talk about uh, tonight because basically it's his birthday so he's my co-host tonight so uh, he's going to make some decision and he's going to decide uh, what we're going to talk about right brad yes so uh frank show them uh, start to having them view what i sent you because that's what i could find in the, in the short period of time over. okay so which one you want to start with the 12 scale semi okay so we'll start by showing it the web page real quick. Uh, share. Hey, and we have Jack in the chat also. RC Propaganda is there. Kurt is there. Uh, Bobby's RC. It's Tricky's RC. Matt's RC. Alvin's there. Uh, happy birthday. Yeah, Alvin uh, Earl R.C., it's his birthday also today, so uh, that's cool. A bunch of people's birthday today. Okay, so one thing he wants to talk about is this new release of the uh, ZL132, 112 4x2 tractor truck trailer. So uh, it looks like a nice little kit. I'm not sure which year it is. It's probably 50s or uh 60s 50s early 60s yeah they do have a video on it i got it queued up uh there's not much spec on it right now uh two-wheel drive 1.7 aluminum wheels uh rear dually wheels leaf springs hard body plastic it's got a real wood bed um so it's got a couple things that are kind of cool on it Oh, you should see that. You should show them the, the size of the uh, the uh, the leaf springs. They're amazingly big. Yeah, they're thick. So the the video it adds, actually it beautifully. Yeah. And uh, let me just copy this real quick and put it in the chat. So she's taking out the wheels, and you'll see that she's going to put the um, uh, she's going to start taking everything out. But this is there for you guys if you want to go see it with the audio, but there's just some music. So she's taking every little part out. Uh, some of it is already built, so it makes it faster for the build. Like the front end's already built, the rear axle's already built. So it's just putting everything together. Um, so even even Tony could actually build this. It's so simple. It's a Tony proof, uh, stupidity proof uh, kind of truck. Now there's the bags of uh, all the items, a lot of little screws, all numbered on where you can put them or where to put them. Uh, don't tell me she's going to show every single bag. Oh, she is. My God. I'll take the body out. That's it. But yeah, the least thing at the back looks like big. Those leaf springs are thick. There's many, many of them. So 
I body think looks nice. I, I I like I like how the body looks and it makes it uh, makes a truck. It's almost like the other two wheel drive that they came out with, which is kind of cool. I think there's a close up of the leaf springs eventually in the video. Yeah, she she does show it right over here. They have a sound kit too. Uh, no, there's no sound kit for that. Oh, because they look like look like that uh, part of the body there had holes. Okay. Speakers. So you look at oh, the thickness of those leaf springs. Yeah, it's a big. <laughs> How, how can you squish that? I am not sure. But there's transmission here. I was telling him it's packaged. He says to package like a four wheel drive, but it might be a pop the way they package it. Yeah, it's it's packaged the same way a TF2 is. So uh, that's kind of cool. Um, it looks like a neat truck. Um, I like the the body style. But I, I have way too many other kits or, or many other projects I got to do before even thinking of getting a truck like that. Mm. Tony, that would be a good kit for you to build. Nah, I got I got my SMT10 still to build. <laughs> and I still got to finish that rock bouncer sitting next to you on the floor. I'm hoping to get it done tonight. Part of it. And Tony's working on his dragster. He took it out uh, today and uh, already crashed it on the curb. Can yeah, the, well, the curb. I was going into the driveway, but the wheelie bar is so low. And when I hit the brakes coming up to the driveway, it spun around backwards. Okay. And uh, that was the problem. It hit the wheelie bar. So I, did, I was far away from the curb. I wasn't even going that fast. Okay. It just... Ridiculous. Uh, you could show them now the Ravel. They're, they're back and making RCs again. Ravel? Rebel. Rebel, yes. Yeah. So this guy from whatever country, I don't know where he's from, but man. I was German, trying to Germany. listen to Germany or Germany. Austria. Yeah, so he's talk he's talking German, I guess. Um, just wait a minute. Just want to make sure I did it right because I don't. Okay, there it is. Technical difficulty. Please bear with us. So <laughs> this is the car that actually has um, multi. It can drive sideways, which is cool. It's got those funky tires. I am not sure how it works. Yeah, multi-directional RC. So that's really neat. And <coughs> the guy actually starts talking about it, and then he takes it out of the box. Uh, it does look a little toyish. Um, the tires are very plasticky. And then he gets to talk about the... Is that a word, control. plasticky? <laughs> yeah, uh, those are my technical terms. Technical, okay, keeping it technical. Yeah. <laughs> so he's getting the feeling of the remote control and how it drives. <laughs> There's a lot of buttons on it, but he's talking a different language, anyways. We're just doing a translation right now. Um, got a lot of travel there. Wow. Oh yeah. But I think it actually squats down sometimes when you're driving. You can actually oh, yeah. you make can it squat. You, you actually, there's a button on it that makes it squat. So those wheels are really neat. It would be interesting to see and how to make it work with a another type of RC. But uh, outside, I see these things like getting dirty too fast. But this is more of indoor or on the concrete or on the road. So he but actually he, starts taking it out onto the onto the floor. It, it's, uh, it's, uh, they have, I think it's, there's a, a, a motor per rim. Motor per rim, probably, yeah. Just to do the- So it's gear. probably all geared, isn't it? Yes, it's four motors, probably one on each mo a wheel, and it probably, 
and they each will have their own system that go to into it. So it technically may be a toy, but it's very technically made to do that. It's really neat when you see it going sideways. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of boggles your mind because it's not supposed to do that. Uh, the wheels don't turn in front like the steering. It's actually it, when you turn, it's actually turns. Skid. Uh, yeah, it kind of skids. It's, it's really kind of weird. It also has two. I think it has two music things on it where it does yeah. a dance like a demo. So good that's name, a, Mad Monkey. Yeah, Freestyle Crawler Mad Monkey by Revel Control. You see that note? It showed a note for music on it. Yeah. What was the third one I sent you, Frank? The fan. Oh, yes, the fan for the ESCs for Tamaya. Of course, we got to talk about Tamaya, right? Well, <laughs> what, what what would be a brat show idea. without talking about Tamaya? It adds more. It adds more uh, that, that you can buy a separate fan that they make, and it goes on their ESCs. So I think it's set up to take any of their ESCs. But uh, Steve O D says, "Oh, it's not too higher." Steve O D says, "Oh, sold. It has music. So just because it's got music now, Steve O D is going to go buy it." <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious, Frank? Steve is not going to do that. <laughs> Fern Solo says you can you can win that for five hundred thousand tickets at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> That's funny. Well, the fan actually helps the uh, this ESCs get uh, to take different motors better. And uh, AZ and Froggy out. RC says an ESC fan for the Tamias question mark that's a, not a bad idea so let's go talk show the fan it. yeah we'll go show the fan we'll go show the fan to the fans so okay. the tamia fan is actually called a tamia tfu01 uh, tamia fan here's a part number 45063 so if you look for this part number, you should f be able to find out how much it actually costs. Um, the uh, ESC they put it on, it brings it down to a two and a half brushless and it, and it can go down below 25 turns with the brush motors because of it. Yeah. So it, 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 it makes it more resistant. So he's showing a little bit on top, the fan upgrade, and then he's going to go through uh, the steps of actually installing the fan. Uh, I like this guy. He does also a lot of uh, new stuff and old stuff. Okay. He's Australian. I'm sure Jack, if he was here, might know the guy. <laughs> yeah, Jack is in there. He's in the, uh, in the chat. Happy so, birthday, Jack, for later in the week. Yeah, happy birthday, Jack. It's going to be Jack's birthday also. Um, so it actually talks about the fan, how to install the fan. And because he, he wants to run a different motor on it, and it might be a little harder on the ESC. So uh, it's uh, better to have it like that. It's going to save the ESC. It's a $20 fan, he says. That's Australian, so I don't know how much it is for us, which is actually relatively cheap if you think about Tamaya. Yeah. Let's fast forward to build. I changes the look of that ESC, that's for sure. Makes it look more stout. <laughs> Might have to pull that, put that on my uh, same car as his, my CCO2. Oh, you have that same uh, ESC? Yeah, well, it comes with the kit. Yeah. That means you could get a lower motor in there if you wanted to, Frank. Yeah. A couple lower motors. Since it is a a, a a brushless one as well as a brushed one, so. 
that's a good uh, 1060 and the, the 1060 not bad but the 1080 is a little bit better but the 1080 is a brushless system isn't it no nope. uh, oh, i believe brushless. the 1080 has the uh drag brake that one does not have the drag brake the 1060 does not have the drag brake i think that's the main difference now what's going on in the chat uh, Jack says that guy is Aussie. Yes, he is. Yeah, ask him if he knows him. Well, you know, Australia is kind of big, so he might know him as, on the video, but I don't think personally, I don't think he knows him. It's just like me asking if I know this other Canadian dude. Kind of so big. <laughs> well, Australia is smaller than Canada, but uh, <laughs> but I thought maybe they've talked to one another or he could live in Melbourne like he does. Okay, good. Uh, Fern Solo says the 1060 doesn't have adjustable Beck. The 1080 does. Cool. What's their, what's their limit or, or power that they can take from the brush? The difference between the 1080 and 1060? Yeah, what's the lowest motors that you think? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Keep talking while I look it up. Talk about something. Come on. Uh... Well, I've sent Tony a lot of stuff that I don't send you because you told me not to, Frank. And I thought Tony might want to have something to talk about stuff. I've sent him about that guy who does those quarter scale ones and third scale RCs. They make themselves and oh, yeah. they're uh, gasoline powered because they make uh, they have V8 and V10 power in their scale. Hmm. Tony, you have something to say about that? I'm muted. Um, I know you're muted. <laughs> I uh, the only one I saw was the uh, monster truck one, um, the grave digger one, and that just feels like he's still just testing and tuning it all the time. So it's I hard I was, to, to I say. I thought you went for the third scale and that quarter scale one. Swamp, Swamper said the 1060 is 60 amps and the 1080 is 80 amps. I'm wondering what the brush dot limits are. Don't know. Find out in a sec. So you want to find out what size of mortar you can put on there on 2S and on 3S. Uh, how low of a wand you could put on the brush. And brushes are not as efficient, so therefore they produce more heat. Correct? Tony, Tony was shaking his head. He says I'm correct, right? Um, they can get worn, that's for sure. Um, the, yeah, because the brushes are whirling in there, but I don't know how much more. It all depends on, like, the turn. Like, you can't do, it's usually based on the, the turn of the motor. So even on yeah. a brush motor, if you're below 27 turn, you're not supposed to do 3S. Um, so that's where you see the crawlers and people running, you know, 3S, 4S, but they're running like 35 turn and higher motors. Yeah. I th right. I've seen people, I thought I've seen, you know what, Glenn from uh, Maya Legend, he's, a, he's, done, he's done low winds with 3S. It didn't break it. <laughs> it didn't break the motor. Well, it all depends because like on the 1080, you can go on 3S, uh, 16 turn got to be bigger than a 16 turn on 2s you can go 10 turn right yeah how many amps is that though so it's a, it's a higher amp you see yeah that's a 1080 yeah so that means a because a lot of them that you... the 1060's got to be doing what uh 17 turn is the lowest well that's what i'm from trying 3S. to find out there I'm just trying to find that spec here real quick. It's still loading up.
Yeah, seven, uh, 18 turn and 12 turn. On 3S. Yeah, 2, 2S, 2S is 12 turn. S. So on the 1080, you can go 10 turn. This, the 60, you can go 12 turn on 2S. 3S, it's uh, 18 turn. Well, an 18 turn on 3S would be faster than a 12 turn on 2S. Good chance of it. A lot of people like the, the sound of a crushed motor more than brushless for some reason. Mm. Has anybody else heard that? The what? Make the sound of what? A brush motor over a brushless motor. A brushed motor over a brushless motor. Um. Well, I usually hear the gears is what I hear, and if yeah. somebody's running a brush motor with like mod one gears or brushless any motor with mod one gears, you're gonna hear it chatter. I don't usually hear. The motors are pretty smooth. I mean, if you're just sitting there listening to the motor, maybe, but I'm not usually doing that. Yeah, usually when I when I have brushless, a brushed right? motor turning and a brushed brushless, that's not even hooked up on anything. They're both about the same sound. Uh, where you're going to have different sound is different gearing and different pitch on on your gears. That's when you're going to start hearing the difference. There, there, when I've heard people running brushed over brushless, uh, the brushed has a different wind to it, especially when you use a hot brush. It has a sound that people okay. like, a low brush. Mm. I haven't noticed. Sounds I interesting though. Yep. Have you guys heard the that difference their, their between brush terrible. and brushless? Uh, RC Mass Master, what are you doing, Tony? Tony's working on his dragster, on his, uh, there you go. Street Eliminator. That he bought himself a bandit. He bought a bandit and uh, he put the low center gravity of a slash onto it. He already yeah. crashed it, now he's fixing it. Sorry, go ahead, yeah. uh, Brad. I wouldn't call it a crash, but kind of. Yeah. Uh, I, well, uh, we're, again, uh, uh, some of the new Tamiya kits are coming out. I saw that there's the, the Renault is out already. Okay. I talked to someone who's an Aussie who says, because that particular car is actually a rear wheel drive especially when it was in rally form. And they did made it front wheel driving. The normal Le Car is front wheel drive. They did have a turbo on it, but it's not the same engine. Mm. Uh, see, was it, uh, I got a website the other day. I'm trying to find it real quick, but it talked about the classic vintage RC car. And I was actually on a uh, somebody else's uh, website uh, live, uh, and I found it interesting. And I said, "Hey, I gotta, I gotta keep this for uh, my chat." So I just found it again. Uh, classic, a classic and vintage RC car. Mm. So it's very interesting little web page. Uh, I'll put it in there, and we'll talk about it. And I'm What's sure the name of it? Uh, ClassicRCJunkie.net. Like okay. Is he talking about Kyoshos and Tamayas, the vintage stuff? So here are the Tamiya models of the 5800 series. I didn't know they made a, a Lam oh, that Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Yeah, you did. They did make a Lamborghini. I want Look at that Countach. That's well done. Yeah. <laughs> have fun. So here's around. a green, their green some Porsche. Of have, some of these have been re-released, by the way. 
Yeah, I know. I I wish they re-released the Cheetah since it was based on the XR311. Here's a really funky one. I know it's been re-released, but it's got the two wheels in the front. They actually, they actually came out with actually, another one. Do they actually have a F1 like this with two front wheels like that? Does yes, it actually yes, exist? they did back in the mid seventies. Back in the mid seventies, yes. Okay. And they have two different. They have they re-released one with a different uh, decal set, and they just brought on another one with a different decal set. Hmm. See, just my like buddy Sang. My buddy Sang had this one, and he also had this one on the shelf. This one was kind of interesting. Those two have the been way the train is. What's yes, that? and it also has uh, torsion bar suspension. Yeah, it's very weird the way it's made. Uh, the that green car has been re-released, by the way. The green Porsche, the green Porsche yeah. Porsche. The XR, yeah, it's been re-released. Which one is it that they they don't have the mold anymore for it? I thought it was that one. I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what? Maybe maybe the, the cheetah. They don't have its body. I assume they could go back to blueprints on it and remake it. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> they have it. Uh, they re-released the caprices that look sort of like the Celicas here. Okay, like this. Two one? different decal sets. Yeah, yeah, you'll see farther down. You'll see the re-release farther down. That buggy's been re-released. I think some of these, uh, some of these, uh, I think the Ferrari one has been re-released. Or the yeah, F1s. That the racing buggy, Rough Rider's been re-released <clears throat> a couple of times, I think. So of course the sand scorcher has been re-released. That one looks uh, kind of weird. I, they might re That's a sidecar motorcycle one that looks like a car. Yeah, but the way the front end is. Is that a single single wheel? Actually, it's sure. a close together single wheel up front. Yeah, I think they're close together. There's two wheels. Oh, I, I was, I was just be, curious on that. I, they might be re-releasing that one, believe it or not. That would go good with the Dancing Riders because it's along the same uh, idea. Yeah. Of course, the Holiday Buggy, the Sand Rover, they've all been re-released. Also, the Datsun was once re-released. Okay. The Sand Rover, I'd like, that's one I'd like to get the, for this to play in the, on the beach. They have that two different awesome. types. They, was, oh, yeah? they have that one and the, and the street one. Of course, the Renault just came back out. People want to see the F-150 back. They yeah, I'd love to see this, this guy uh, back. Volkswagen in 12 scale. They did re-release the Volkswagen one in 12 scale. Oh, yeah. I saw someone run, have a running video on it uh, a couple of years ago, and it's a, he had made a really good video of it running. Okay, see you later, Fern Solo. Uh, Fern Solo has to run. Bye, Fern. Of course, we got the uh, pick the Hilux here. They did, I think they did re-release this on a different, I think they did release this particular type of uh, Hilux. People want to see the Blazing Blazer again. Yeah, well, they they actually, got a lot of different versions of this guy, yeah. Yeah, the Blazing Blazer people would like to see again because uh, actually the transmission was slightly different than the case it was in. So it is a little different than the others. Uh, I don't think they've, uh, they might have re-released the Brabham, but I don't I remember seeing it. Uh, they re-released the Audi Quattro, if that's the one. Uh, yep, they re-released that one. They did do the Super Champ again. Of course, uh, they haven't done the Wild Willie. Really. They should do the original again. They did re-release the Super Champ, which has a, which has a single uh, reservoir and a single shock in the rear. Oh, yeah. They did, of course, the Brat in, in different colors. Uh, they did re-release this. I think you can still get it. The Wild Willie uh, Honda Civic Turbo City Car. Uh, uh, I don't know if they uh, they haven't re-released the Opal Ascanda. Ascanda. Okay. But they did re-release the Audi one in that uh, livery. That looks like a funny little one, the Willie's Wheeler. Oh yeah, it it, it, it is. It's one of their street model versions of the. Uh, Cars that uh, wheelie. 
Subaru Brat. I almost bought one of this when I was a teenager. You, they have that in blue and red. Re-released. Here's the frog. Frog and the Lancia, they've all, both been re-released. Okay. Uh, they did release the Mitsubishi Pajero, of course, the Hornet and the Grasshopper. They're a mainstay for their vintage. They keep those on all constantly now, I think, right? Yeah. Which is good because it's those are great starting kits in my mind. So yeah, they're very easy to build, yeah. Yeah, they're very good start out kits. Of course, there's the bruiser and the hot shot have been released. The fast attack one has been re-released. I hear you have to paint like practically uh, practically the whole car. The fast attack really you should paint it before you actually go to the attack. Oh yeah. Well the the fast yeah. attack, that's something I, I'd I'd want like probably a first build or whatever. I, I think I'm gonna get for my son for him to actually sit down with me and build. This is the one I'd I'd like to do with him. Uh, uh, what's his name just did a video on it. Uh, uh, to my legends, he just did one, but he did it in a different type of green. But he said he had to paint the whole thing. He didn't do the re-release. He had an original, but I, the original, the re-release, you'd have probably have to paint the whole body first. Okay. Get everything done. Of course, they had the Nova Fox, which was a sort of like the Fox, but they did, of course, the Wild one has been re-released. I like those yeah. buggies. The wild one but I have. The wild one's a great buggy. Yeah. And, it's, and believe it or not, there is similarities in the chassis to the Fast Attack and the wild one. Oh, yeah? Yes. One has friction so shocks and one has dampers, oil dampers. Bodies were, of course, different. Okay. I had that super shot. I wish they re release it under that same shot. That was a great car. It came with the uh, gold Tune motor. Oh, yeah? Yes, it did. It's one of my favorite buggies. They, people, they're, people are saying they actually think they're going to come out with the Falcon again because people want to see that. Of course, the Boomerang and the Big Wig have been re-released, but they really want to see the Falcon brought back. Okay. Uh, Who is the they in that kind of a world? Just the Tamiya boys? People Fan who do People who do people who do vintage stuff like RC kicks and stuff like that. Uh, of course, the Monster Beetle and the Blackfoot have been re released. People really would like to also see the Porsche 959 back because that's a gorgeous chassis. Okay, I had always wondered because like sometimes those vintage people don't want to re release because then there's just more. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I understand that, but then you know? yeah, but then they then they're searching for parts and they're thinking. Yeah, I would like to see you come back because so I can put the parts on my original, you know? Yeah. They, they change their tune if they can't find parts for it. Of course, the lunchbox. <laughs> they, uh, the Hot Shot 2, I haven't seen re-release, but they should re-release it. The Striker, people thought that was an ugly buddy, buggy, and they actually that's going to go up in price because there's actually not a lot of them left. Okay. And I would like to see that put uh, brought back again. They'd also like to see the Toyota Celica GRB, which is kind of like the 959 chassis. Of course, they brought back the uh, Super Clod Buster, which is out. I have seven of those. A lot of the four-wheel drive buggies, they want to... What? I said I have they, seven they of those. Super Clod you have seven of those? Yeah, well, they brought it back. Yeah. The Super Clod Buster's out again. Yeah, but this is just Clod Buster for this one. It's not a Yeah, yeah, one. they should bring that back, too. So but the, the, the super, the all the four wheel drive buggies, all, all, I know that I've heard talk with the people who re do the vintage stuff. They would like to see a lot of the four wheel drive uh, vintage stuff back. Okay. Uh, super Saber, my buddy Sang, the guy, uh, the video I just released a little while ago, he's got one of those at, uh, at his house. Isn't it a good looking car? It's strange. Uh, it, it, it looks okay, yeah. But when I look at the pictures here, it, it, it does not. But when you see it in real, it, it's better. I, I, I would love, you know, he has a gorgeous collection. They also want to see the Thundershot back. That was also a popular body. Midnight Sonic Pumpkin. Fighter. 
course, they re -re they've re-released the Minute Python. That's a, that's still around, but actually, there's a lot less of them than the lunchboxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the Avant the Avante, of course, is back, as we know who we've known people have gotten those. Yeah. And that's such a that's such a gorgeous kit. Mm -hmm. uh, they haven't re-released a lot of their F1 stuff, but they have done a few. Of course, the Grasshopper 2 is back. They'd like to see the sound. They, Terra Scorcher came, is coming back this year. The Terra oh, yeah. Scorcher is coming back this year. And the Thunder Dragon, they'd like to see that too. How do you know the Terra Scorcher is coming back? You remember when you went to the stuff at the, at the hobby, at the toy, toy fair in Germany? Oh, yes, 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 they, yes. They showed that. Okay. People like that, that car a lot. Uh, the Vanquish is a variation, believe it or not, there's a long history for the for the Avante. There's lots of variations of it that are on that chassis with some with changes and stuff like that. And the Vanquish is one of them. And the Fire Dragon is popular. And the Mud, uh, the mud Buster came back in a blue Subaru body, Subaru Brat body. The Egress came back too, but they haven't re-released it. They want to see the King Cab come back and they want to... I would like to see the astute come back. They made the super astute again. The mad yeah, but even if it cool comes back, back you, you'd like to see it, but you probably never buy it. If I had the money, I would be buying all these kits. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> Madcap uh, would be popular when coming back. The Saint Dragon. I haven't heard too much about that, but I've seen it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it looks like not, an interesting body. What the Madcap? Or the, the, or the Saint, Saint Dragon? Saint Dragon? Saint Dragon. Yeah, it's weird with the two uh, two wings. I think they did re-release the Avanti 2001 a while back. Of course, the Manta Racer come back. They would like to see the Toyota Hilux Monster Racer. That's a very popular model. Uh, Bullhead. Bull, yep, yeah, that's, that's a round still. I had this Bearhawk down here in the corner. I loved that model. We're not there yet. I scrolled up too much. We're not there yet. <laughs> so you had a lot of buggies. Uh, yes. I like doing a lot of off-road stuff. But uh, not a lot of on these on-roads. I actually had some on-roads. You just haven't seen, you haven't shown them yet. Okay. Uh, the Bearhawk was actually, a, that was actually a, a, a variation of the Falcon with some updates to it. Okay. They did re-release the Toyota Rally several years ago. That was a very nice kit. There's the Super Astute that came back. There sure is a lot of them that, like a lot of kits that came out. It's just crazy. The top force did come back, and I think people would like to see the evolution one come back. They had more nicer material, nicer stuff on it. I think they made this one too. I can't read, read that one. Is it the Bush Devil or Bush? The truck next to it. Yeah, Bush Devil. They did re-release that. Didn't hear too much about it, but I did. They did re release it. The Ford body. Now we're in the section where they don't say the name of it. Uh, they did re-release the uh, this other buggy here, this the truck. There's the evolution, top force evolution. There's a variation of the bruiser that they did release with the red Toyota Hilux body. Yeah. That's the, that they did re-release that one. Okay. Uh, what is that? The uh, uh, Terra Conqueror, that might come back. There's the Dinosaur, which the Madcap was loosely based on. Uh, Delancey, of course, came back. That one there. They did bring back the Blitzer Beetle, and they, I don't know if they re-released the Dyna, the, the truck version. That one is like, if you look at compared to the other vehicles that they make, that's got a very wide left to right stance on it. It's very large. It's full yeah. 10 scale, but it's very wide. 
I wish they'd bring back a Super Hornet. I had a Super Hornet. I loved it. Here's my Super Hornet. Didn't you? Don't you like it? Oh yeah. Super Hornet's yeah. a good car, and believe it or not, it's one of the better handling the live action cars because of the, oh, yeah. the dampers they put on it. They've got some cool lineups, that's for sure. Yeah. That's the hard body Pajero. There, you see that Cleo Williams down there? Oh, I thought you had it up there. I'm sorry. I had that FF01, that Cleo Williams. I had a ball dip in it up front. Real fun car to play with. Right. Yeah. A bunch of CCO1s here. Showed up one earlier, but this is a Jeep one with a short wheelbase. That one looks nice. Uh, that this one here, uh, the uh, Toyota was nice too. Oh, yeah, the one that you passed by, but uh, oh, everybody knows this. That, one. The Chevy one was also there, the Chevy S10 model, free runner. What, what's that, a mini? Uh, that yeah, mini Cooper. I uh, had that. That's an MMO. That's an MO one chassis. I had that car. Remember, I told you I got th those tires would squeal if you put a decent uh, stock motor in it. Oh yeah. I had this. Uh, I had this Amigo. I had the CCO one here. It's a hard body, and it has the deep dish rims. It's a road going version of the CCO one. I had that. Okay. I mean, technically, those those rims are like twenty inch rims, but it was ten times ten times bigger. That was a good. That was a good. But it had a hard body. It was top heavy. Of course, yes. the Hummer I had, and that was that top heavy. Sang has two of these. Hard guys. body. Yeah, I know. There's the mo ones and the mo twos. More FF01 chassis. I had the Dirt Thrasher. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a really that was a fun buggy too. There's my MMO one that I had the red the red Mini Cooper rally version. I had that. Believe it or not, even with those two shocks, was it handled well? Oh yeah, I wish these pictures were better yes. resolution. Of course, they brought back buy them tank. You, I wish you'd buy them tank and take better pictures of them. Post them. Yeah. This hey, is an there, interesting there you go, Frank. one. No, sir, that one. <laughs> this is an interesting one. That looks just that like has yours, your name written it, all over it, man. I don't know who, what, 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 what uh, and I assume it's uh, uh, based on a fan car that they made. Yeah. It might actually be based on a fan car, or it might be a buggy chassis. Rear wheel so buggy turn chassis. Of course, you have the. the there's the okay. MO2 version of your car. Yeah. That's the, the MO2 M06. version of your car, Frank. Yeah, that one only had two. This one only has two uh, friction dampers on it. Believe it or not, they don't handle that bad. Yeah, it's weird. The shock it's is really up here in front. Uh, lean. The shock yeah, is right in front. Yeah, exactly in the back, too. It has, yeah. It, it actually has interesting lean when you keep the shocks the same way. Oh, yeah. That Honda, I think Jack would like that Honda, the old S800. That's right up Jack's alley. Mm -hmm. Look, they had an old CRV <laughs> and an old Miata. <laughs> Typical old man car. The MO6 Jack. I want to. <laughs> what, the CRV? <laughs> no, that black one. I like that hot rod. That CRV is kind of a funny uh, one well, to make. Well, maybe you could. The, these trucks and this Audi, this Audi here was re released on a different chassis. I also had this, the Fighter Buggy RX, with the different live axle in the back. It was one of the newer hoppers. I used to race that one. It was fun to race. I beat, I beat some associated Losies around the track and the oval track and some friends out. Whoa, whoa, whoa it there. Kind of funny. I, used to, I beat them a couple times. You they beat them? This, uh, you, you beat them? Yeah, was it because they were drunk? Yeah, I, I did. I won a couple races. I really, actually, I, I beat them. It was a short oval track, and I did beat them a couple of times with it. Isn't that funny, Tony? And you sure they with weren't the drunk? 
You sure they they weren't drunk or no? I'm being serious. I'm, dead? No, no, no one was drinking. They just they just how screwed now, up how they managed to go around the track. Yeah. Mm. I think they brought back this other truck here with the Ford F one fifty bottle body. Like we're not even halfway through all the models here. It's crazy. It's insane. <laughs> Insane, you see this yeah. Bosch? You see this I'm Bosch? This is, a, this is a TLL one. I had that car. This one here, the center one? No, no the Bosch. What the heck's a Bosch? Oh yeah, the this Bosch, one. the Apple Romeo. I had that. Thank you've been TLL drinking. Lunches. Yeah, water. <laughs> they did. They did bring back the GTO a GT one uh, Porsche again. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, here's another Honda uh, vehicle that they did, and they also had an MO2 Boxster from the early nine, late nineties. Hmm. Uh, oh, they did buggy. not read. Yes, I, I, I wanted. I actually wanted that buggy. It's actually kind of interesting because of the tires on it. Yeah, the tires are interesting. They're street tires. Actually, it's made for rallying, so you could go yeah. off and on road with it. There's the Mad Bull that they re-released, and they've done a lot with that. This one's weird. Eh? It's a buggy, but with monster tires. That's a, that's a yeah, that, I, Tony a style Mad Bull. The the Mad Bull is a monster buggy with a, a grasshopper tube body on it. Here's a new monster truck for you. It's got a solid axle in the rear. Does that count? Yeah. Yeah, that's also that's also a GTO one chassis. That's a GTO one chassis. That's it. Another Porsche. Another. another I kind of like that. Can you blow it up again? The Mad Bull. The the Mad Bull. Yeah, that's it's out cool. again. Uh, by the way, Tony, they have that out again. What does it have in the front? That is that solid truck. axle front? No, the, the no, no, no. It, it, it's it's like the it's like the Hornet up front. It's an it's IFS, with in a front. slightly different yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's solid axle at the. But it's beer. a rear wheel drive monster buggy. It's it's only two wheel drive. You believe it or not, people put oil filled dampers on it, and it actually handles quite well with oil filled dampers on it. What what do you call that one? It's called the Mad Bull. Mad Bull. Let me see if I can't Google Mad Bull right quick and see if I can find it. Yeah, Tony, you could, it, it, you got the kit, you put oil filled dampers on it and a decent, nice brushed motor, and trust me, you'll have fun with it. I have a whole lot of cars here I need to still have fun with. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop buying new cars. Well, have you'll keep that in mind when it's time to buy new ones, Tony, right? You keep that one in mind. It's relatively cheap, so you and it check, would be not that expensive for you. And check this out. People that think I don't buy batteries. Pick these up at Hobby Town. Needed crawl packs. The drive ones. What do you mean you have to bucks. buy them? Aren't you sponsored by Venom? Yeah, but I buy them. I bought I bought two of these recently at Hobby Town. Good for you. Fifty bucks supports my hobby shop. They're great batteries. They're almost, well, you know, you get the 5,000 milliamp. It's 2S, but it's like half the size, and it's only like 400 milliamp hours left. You know, it's 4,600 yeah. in this small I, pack. It's awesome. You know, recently, so, recently I saw 16,500 6S. That's awesome looking. All right. I might need and one. And it's cheap. It's less than $200 for the kit. You might have talked me into it, Brad. All you would want to do is I see it's a bit of building. Buy some oil 187. Dampers. See, it's less than 200 bucks, and, it, and you can get oil filled dampers for it, so you can make it handle a lot better, too. I seem to find some people that want to race it with me. That's where those things are fun, is when you get a couple people that buy them and you just have fun racing them. Yeah. Stock, everybody gets the same motor. All right. But you, of course, you would never raise my wheelie bar this time. Of course, you've never filled it without ball bearings. <laughs> I might. 
But if you're racing, you wouldn't want to. You'd want that little edge. You make that one everybody of the rules. People it. can do it. Not everybody. Not everybody does it. Even though if you make it a rule, a lot of people just don't want to take the time because a lot mm -hmm. of the places don't stock them. So you so got to order them, and then they don't want to wait to build it. What did you think of those Porsches that they have? They just brought back this DTM car on a on a TTO2 chassis. That is not its original chassis, but the, the body's back. Oh, yeah. uh, of that a D2 Mercedes that just came back for this year. Look, they got a they got the newer Beetle. This I would love to have too. It's a TLO one version of the chassis with a buggy body on it. The Baja. Be right back. I'm gonna switch to my computer. Okay. What? That's a decent looking buggy. What do you think, Frank? Yeah, it's different. It's it's got a different style. It's thinner, and it's tall. A lot of people uh, would like this uh, F one fifty too. The Lightning. This F one fifty. Yeah. I don't know. It looks weird. The bumper in front sticks out way too much. But that's what it looked like in real life. Uh, I'm not sure if it looked like that in real life. It's so what do you think? So you can take a closer bit. look at the look at the buggy again. That Citron's a beautiful body. That Citron has a beautiful body. There's Mustang the one in the middle. Again. They just brought back the SVT uh, Cobra body style from the 90s. Already, yeah. that's a re-release. They just brought that out again. The Mad, uh, what's his name? Is rebuilding a dagger, a wild dagger. Uh, Tamaya Legends is rebuilding that. It's a two motor car. It right. has two motors on it, and it's a it's it's a monster truck or a, or a monster truggy. Mm -hmm. RC Propaganda says uh, that what lightning. The F one fifty lightning. I almost bought one. Okay, cool. I wish they would. Re they did have this uh, out for a while. This juggernaut. Okay. Monster truck. This one? Yep. It has a 250 body on it, an older 250 body. Looks like it's four way steering. Yep. Or is that just the way the pictures take? No, it's no. four wheel steering. Four wheel steering. They, Tamiya came out with some very nice kits. Yes, they did. Look, they had the S2. So they've been at it for what? Ever? <laughs> uh, well, they've been at it since the mid '70s, making RC vehicles. So over 40 years. Yeah, so you, I was gonna say you're looking at 40 years of cars here. Yeah. And, and you know what? It's not. I mean, I would like to see them bring out brand new stuff entirely, but the vintage stuff and stuff that's even after the first 100, they should re-release because a lot of people would like to see those again. That Alfa Romeo is front wheel drive. Oh, that uh, truck is good too. The yellow one. There's a there's the on road version of the Blitzer Beetle. There's a, a, another I forgot what they called this one. If that's not a juggernaut, but it's kind of it's based on it. Okay. But it's a different livery on it. I'm not sure what's written on it. It's, you can't barely tell. Look, they had a scion. <laughs> We're getting Look at that. There's that truck. I was going to say, is that I a dump truck? Seen, yeah, with thinner wheels on it. Yeah. That's a nice looking kit. That's the original one. They came out with that new one, which uh, has big wheels. Yes, it's a, on a GFO one chassis. Yeah. This rally car, my, they came out with a lot of different models of this rally car. Oh, the rally cars are, are their forte. <laughs> oh, there's the, mad, the oh. mad Fighter. There's a Mad Fighter right there, the yellow one. And of course, there's that Lancia I told you about. The old 37. Yeah, the... the, the uh, Believe it or not, there was a, a smoked rear axle that you could see the gears through on the mad, mad one. Oh, yeah. There's a TXT one. 
or is it a TXT2? Because I had an 18 scale one in that monster truck. That's a one. Okay, then it's 18 scale. That's an 18 scale monster truck. I think it had four wheel steering. It's a metal chassis too. Look at all, they had some beautiful Porsche models, didn't they? Yeah. There's some Ferraris. I like the paint job on this. Oh, on that Fiat. Yeah, that is an interesting paint job. I think that's all stickers. <laughs> I think it's all decals. I don't know how it'd be a lot of stickers, that's for sure. <laughs> there, there's the long wheelbase mini when they changed the body style. That's an MO5 with a long wheelbase. Okay. That AMG is nice, the black one. <coughs> they had the F, they had the, uh, the uh, Enzo there. There's another TLO1 hey, buggy. It's... Say, hey, it's another Subaru. <laughs> yeah, they, Subaru was a very popular car. What do you expect? Yeah. Look at the TT. They have job. an Audi TT body too. Another buggy for that's another, another TL. One. This actually might not. This might be not a TL one right here, but it's, it looks great. <coughs> another. There's another uh, something based on the Wild Dagger. I forgot the name of this one, but it's that based on the Wild Dagger. It has two motors on it. Now, believe it or not, I've seen, I've seen people put rear wheel steering on those too. Oh yeah, yes. Getting to newer stuff like this is newer stuff. There's yeah. a Oaks carbon fiber. Yeah. Yep. They do that with the top force. You could get a top force evolution with carbon fiber. You can get a chassis for it. Look, they have a they have a Porsche GT. That might be the super quad buster right there. There's another military vehicle that's probably on the Hummer ch chassis. I'll be right back, guys. All right. So hold it right there, Frank. We are on a coffee break or water break. Cheers. Scotch. Scotch. So you guys get to see our ugly mutt for a little bit and not uh, watch a bunch of Tamiya scroll by. But it's interesting seeing all those uh, different kits that came out. I, I got to find a site that gives me the uh, equivalent of the uh, uh, other companies. I wonder how many actual cars they've actually come up with. Got to ask Google. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying that's. I think we've seen about 53 uh, super rallies, though. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of super rally rallies, that's for sure. I'm back. <laughs> and birthday boy is back. <laughs> there's still a lot more of those to go through. Ah, oh, we're uh, over here. We're three quarters done. What do you think of that? What do you think of that uh, Dakar Rally Volkswagen and that other military vehicle? This one looks not bad for a Dakar, but I don't yeah. know what on what chassis that is though. Yeah, it was actually a tur. Almost looks like an issue. Yeah, it was a tur rag, but I don't think they called it that when mm -hmm. they rallied it. What do you think of that military vehicle? It looks good. <laughs> it's on the Hummer chassis. Okay. But it has a much different body on it. There's, they have a lot of TL01 chassis. Look at how nice the TL01 buggies look. Lots of beautiful Porsche bodies. Mm -hmm. Oh, another Subaru. We should have counted another one. No, more four wheel drive buggies. And there's the original Hornet. I had one of those too. That was my yeah. first. Look at that. that Subaru here, here is Subaru here. That was my first. One's got a blue stick. And a red one. one of them. One of them came back as a 1999 uh, Subaru uh, Impreza rally car. Oh yeah. STI. Yes. 
was on a TLO one E chassis. Um, that's a super, that's the Hornet. And I had that once. What's the name of that, uh, that buggy there, uh, with that rear wheel drive buggy. It could be a DTO two or DT. Don't know. It's too blurry. It looks like a T DTO two chassis. And there's the X. This could be the XV uh, one chassis, which is the belt driven front wheel drive front mounted motor. Part of the Lancia. And here's the gra original grasshopper. Of course, the lunchbox. Yeah, some of those were DTO2s or DTO3 chassis, mm -hmm. which is a very good uh, two wheel drive buggy that they make for cheap. You like that Mercedes, that, that, that prototype Mercedes, that silver one? Yep. Of course, the original frog. I think that down here it's it's they're pretty re, they might be re-releases. Yes, uh, that that yes, but the frog is a re-release and they still have it. I think it's also stick. I think it's around just as long as I think they're keeping it in, in place, just like the the hornet and the. These ones really. By look. There's the manta ray is and that there's. An no, that's a top force. Oh, yeah. Top Force was a, was supposed to be a, a, a better chassis uh, that came after the uh, Avante, kind of oh, yeah. same lines. Some of those were re-released. -re I don't know why I don't see more Midnight Pumpkins. I like the Midnight Pumpkin better than the, the van. Mm -hmm. They have a low rider version of the Midnight Pumpkin on a 12 scale on-road chassis with four wheel drive. Oh, yeah. they, re <laughs> they have a new chassis, a new body, for this Suzuki Swift, uh, there's a that that uh, truck is cool. I uh, uh, forgot the name of that, but they haven't re-released that. Double double deuce? No double. I'm not sure. You like that? It's a Dodge body. Yeah. Uh, that is a plasma edge, the black version. They just re-released it again in a different format. Yeah, that's more like today's style with yes. the truss, the truss in front and the truss at the back. It looks cool in black. There's a DTO2 Desert Gator, I think. There's there's those uh I forgot what they call those. Those are the, the three speed transmissions ones that have permanent four wheel drive on it. Okay. Uh, it's nice Ford. Yeah, it's based on the 250s on the high the uh, high rise ones, whatever they call them. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the FXX uh, Ferrari? These guys? Yeah, you like. Say, there's two of them right there, isn't it? Yeah, one after. Yeah, I think they're on different one. chassis. Yeah, probably. Like that body? I could see you doing something with that, Frank. Yeah. That that car, I don't know if they ever gave it. They might have given it to the public, but it's mainly a thousand, thousand plus horsepower Ferrari. Okay. Look at that. Look at the, the look at the Beetle in red. You like that, Frank? It looks nice in red. Better than the blue. Is that probably your? Yeah, but it looks better in in red than it does blue. Yeah, it does look better in red. I I I like Herbie, <laughs> but yeah. I was gonna say, is that the same one you have? Thank I'm not sure. Yes. I, it, it might be the M06. I don't. Uh, it, it, might. it might be an M03. It also might be an M03, Frank. No, not an M03. An M04. Because mine on the box, it was actually blue on the box. They have it. That might be an M04 chassis. There's the Subaru Brat that was also re released. A lot of, I bet you a lot of people would like to see that RX7 re released. Well, all these are re releases, they're all brand new. And there's a mm -hmm. there's a, an Avante. I forgot what they call this particular Avante. Yeah, the Hot Shot, of course, was re-released. A lot of the Subarus have been re-released. I think they just brought back a a different version of this uh, Supra. Okay. That, that came back out this year. Oh yeah. Uh, yes. RC Mass Master is saying that the Subaru Brat comes with two bodies. Yes, I heard that. And I forgot. One's a hard body, and one's a a a, 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 a Lexan body. Oh yeah. Yes. That's interesting. What do you think of this BMW over here, the, the Z4 race car? Looks nice, nice and low to the ground. That's for sure. 
there's another, there's a high lux in the new chassis format with the three speed transmission. I don't know if this was a gas powered or an electric one, this, this truck over here on the other side. This one? Yeah. I don't know if it was gas powered or, or electric, but it's cool looking with that body scheme, the color scheme. Yep. Did they do much gas or nitro or whatever? Yeah, they have nitro cars. They only have one. They have a brand new nitro car, but they only have one in their stable. There's the, uh, I think that might be the Durga body uh, of, uh, of one of the top, of one of the advanced uh, chassis on it. Oh, yeah. Look at, yeah. how about the, uh, look at that Porsche. That's really nice. The golden black one. There's the CR01 no, no. Toyota FJ. This, this thing to me, I, I've seen it in real life. I've seen it in action. It's, it's weird, but especially with these open spring coil spring, it just like, it's very weird truck to see on the road. Yeah, it has a cantilever on one side and springs in, the, uh, in there like that. Yeah. There's the Trans Siberian uh, Cayenne. The one in the middle. Another Lambo. You, I bet you're going to look for one of those kits, aren't you, Frank? Well, I did look for it. I didn't find any, but I stopped. Well, there's got to be, there, there, there's what it, this right here, this fighter buggy one, and there's another high rise one there. This fighter buggy is the last of what they call the hoppers, the second generation hoppers. It's actually a DT01 chassis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's a Unimog. Yes, with the CR01 chassis. Oh, another Subaru. <laughs> People, mm -hmm. you know what? When people see the Subaru ones, those are the, in the, some of the hobby stores around here, people buy the Subaru ones from Tamaya because they make they make such good representations of it. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of Porsches. Well, this is a nice one for for uh, Tony. That is yeah. is that the, that's the I black like the edition. silver. Oh, now there's, there's a black edition, black but it's all black. That one's silver. Four by four by four. You, you know what? I, I, Tony, I think that's a. I think that's the Chrome Black Edition. That sounds about right. I could see you getting one of those one day. If they're out, because it's just cool looking, right? The color scheme. Right. Hey, Look, here's a solid a, axle, Tony. Yeah, a CR01 of the Jeep body from the uh, CC01. That same body goes on that CR01. Oh, another Subaru. Two more Subarus. And there's the new different, Fiat body. Different paint job, though. Yeah, the Fiat. That's a funny looking car. I hear they're fun to drive, even though they're fun to drive the newer ones. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, there's another CR01 uh, chassis. Uh, uh, you like that Mercedes, don't you, Frank? You like that color, the, the chrome sticker, yeah. the chrome decals. That's a CR1 with a uh, CR01 chassis with a Bronco body on it. Yeah. I know that a lot of people. Solid axle, too. Yeah, it mm. is. I know a lot of people don't like the CR01 chassis, but I could see them wanting it just for that body. There's a newer version of the uh, MO. That's an MO3 uh, chassis, or it could be an MO5 of that mini. Yeah, don't, that buggy's good looking, isn't it, Frank? Yeah, it's nice. It's all most of the chassis metal. I, I looks like it. Yeah, it looks like all metal here. You'd have fun with that kit just because of the way it looks and how you put it together. Look at the Fiat R A Barth of the Fiat. That's probably a CCO one. Yes. That could be an XV01 or TT02 uh, Lancia. Look at that! Look at that old three series BMW. Yeah. I think they re-released this Ferrari here, that red one. Look at that! It looks like we're at the end. It's from France. You could actually uh, go on his site and you see to 1970s me. model of this 1970s, 80s. What's that say? Uh, 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 how do you pronounce that with the black old model slim or it's in French? 
Look at that. That's from the 70s. Yeah, what do you think of that? One-eighth scale. Yep. It's usually stored in a showcase. <laughs> it was taken out for these pictures. Too bad. I'd like to see that run. Oh, here's that funky three-wheeler thing. Yep. You like it in the silver and black? It's weird because you see the wheel on one side, but on the other side, you don't see a wheel. That's why I was wondering if it was a single. It's like yeah, it's cars. Probably, it, it, yeah, but it's lower center gravity three wheeled uh, um, uh, car, uh, uh, you know, like a sidecar thing. That's a Nico. I think. What do you mean, Nico? I think that's a Nico, Nico uh, uh, Porsche. Or it could be wrong. It might be a Tamaya from the 70s. Yeah, it's a Tamaya. What do you think of that? That's from the 1976-77. Nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Box art early models. And there's a lot of stuff on this website. You're going to have to study it sometime, huh, Frank? Uh, not really. I don't have time to spend. That, 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 that car came back, too, that chassis. No, no, the one before it. Because I know they re reissued that body. Hmm. Crazy. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, people doing some drag racing. 1972. Mintex. There's a, look at that, a little gas car. Yeah. 78. Look at it, it has a dual tailpipe. <laughs> it's crazy. That looks That's awesome. Really there was an old it, video it, somebody just posted to Instagram of old school racing. Oh, yeah? It's pretty awesome. I think it was... Uh, Fresh Squeeze RC posted it. Uh, or maybe it's JJ Customs. I don't know. You know, somebody... believe it or not, they were racing, uh, for, uh, Tony, they were racing RCs back in the 30s or 40s. That's when it started coming out. Yeah, it was a crazy old commercial like that. It was like a, a news show. Yeah. It was pretty cool. They had, the, they had the, I think that's from the 30s or 40s. Oh, yeah. So I, yeah, I sent like you that link. Seeing. I sent you that link of that Tamiya website we were just looking at, so you can actually look, go through it, and yeah. So it's interesting. I bet you saw a lot of things you liked there, didn't you, Frank? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of things I'd like to have in life, but you know, we have to make but decisions. The right? But those Tamiyas were nice, weren't they? Yeah. I just got to find the equivalent of the Kyosho, Kyosho website for vintage and check that one out. I thought that Kyosho made some of, uh, with Tamaya and made some of the prettiest vintage vehicles on the market. Bucks RC you know? World, RP birthday, Brad. Thank you. Surprised more people aren't in the video chat. <laughs> RC VHX 22 is in the house. How are you doing? Uh, Xavier, what was buddy. that for, Tony? <laughs> that was a big sigh. What? Xavier. Went, ah. <laughs> Old buddy. Because uh, Tony knows Xavier. He knows a lot of people. That's uh, going good. He knows a lot of people in this hobby. We're, we're talking to Chad, uh, not Chad, um, Brad tonight, and it's his birthday tomorrow. So uh, we're talking about uh, Tamiya's because he likes Tamiya's and talking about RC. And mm -hmm. so that's what we're up to tonight. It'd be nice if you could find that video for stuff. And some Maruri. I swore a couple of years ago they, they 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 were at that one of the toy fairs and I 
can't believe they didn't have anything to show, but they were handing out pamphlets. And I swear they're supposed to come back. I don't know what's taking them so long. Mm. And Marui Money. is also a well loved company. Cool. Uh, like HBI, Bucks. but HBI managed to come back. Yeah. Hopefully they will, and they are slowly. Marui. Yeah. It, uh, Bucks. Marui came back to be my third favorite. Marui be my third favorite company. I don't they know. They had some really be. good looking stuff too. So Bucks R C World is oh, asking any Bucks R C World is asking any progress um, on the hot rod that I'm building. Hot rod is right up here. Yeah, you, you should uh, show them that hot rod picture of, of the Tamaya one. <laughs> the uh, wheels are off, so here are the wheels. Uh, Chris is pr 3D printing me some new wheels for it, so I should be, and that's I'm pretty much done. Um, so. You can see a big difference between a 1.12. Uh, this is for rigs, and this is for a car, 1.5, and this is 1.7 uh, for the wheels. So big difference. But this is the rear wheel, and this is the front. And that's how they're going to be printed. So big, but a little wider than that. So it should be kind of interesting uh, seeing that hot rod with, um, with the bigger wheels at the back and 3D printed. It should be kind of cool. Can't wait to get them. Is Jack in there? No, I haven't heard it. Uh, seen a comment from Jack in a bit. Usually in the video feed. Why is he not playing? Oh, maybe he's busy. Somebody put a link up. I'm going to go check what that is. Vintage. Yoshos? Yeah, the, the vintage RC web. Yeah, vintage RC web. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at it now. Who is it that does the re restoration stuff for the... There's a lot there, of guys. Uh, there are so many people who do restorations. There's some Aussies that do restorations. Uh, 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 Tamaya Legends does uh, stuff. There's also this other guy. Uh, I forgot who he is, but he does some restoration. Oh, there's also RC Retro who does stuff. He's in New York. Ah, yes. Look at how beautiful those models are. You know, the mid might be coming back, Tony, the mid PO show. I don't know what that is. Mid Optima? Oh, yeah. Mid motor? Yeah. They, they had a lot of beautiful vintage stuff, too. Look at that. And a lot of it was all metal, just like the old Tamayas. He's showing the restoration of it. So this is where his collection. Right, they also began. had a, it looks like a Honda Turbo car. They had a Honda City one too. <laughs> you see that break? This one? Yeah, just like the one you saw in Tamaya. Yeah. But that one's more of a comical vehicle. But they they actually made a new city car. They made a city car themselves. The Kyosho Gallop. Kyosho Montero. Look at the Hairball L, L, uh, Alien Mid Four. Hmm. There you go. There you go, Tony. You need to get. You need to see if you can find one of the Hairball uh, 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 Alien Mid Four for your show. <laughs> Why? Don't think it would get very many views. It, no. Well, just because it's it has Alien in the name. <laughs> oh, conspiracies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. It makes sense. And you can have it right there in front of you on a pedestal because it's an alien. It says alien in the name. <laughs> oh, here's some company. There. Marui. And QYK. I don't know if I've heard of them, but there's Marui. Sidewinder. Let's see what that one looks like. That's nice. It kind of reminds you of the TL01 uh, Tamayas. The way mm -hmm. it's set up. God, they had a lot of they had a lot of classic uh, buggies too, uh, Tony and Frank. Just like Tamaya, you want to see the Marui show? show see, have yourself. Oh, I'm watching on the wrong screen, so everything's delayed. I'm like, why are they talking about these names? There's a Haribo. Haribo is that one. It's not Kyosho. It's the whole other company, Haribo, and that's the one that has the alien one in it. Hunter. There's nothing on the Hunter. 
Samurai. Let's go see what the Samurai is. Samurai is one of the more popular ones that they made. From Maruri? Come on, load up. Yes, they, they were. that was one of their most popular ones. It's not loading. It have pictures of it's not loading. I don't know if he's work, working on getting it set up or... Yeah. Uh, look at the uh, yellow... Uh, the uh, Go to the Kyoshos because they have lots of them. There's the Haribos. Tomcat. Look, Alien Mid-4 is the last one on the list. Zerda. They have some interesting names. They have bear cat and they had a bear hawk for Maya. <laughs> Mid four. I guess he's just working on this and it's belt driven. You see that four wheel drive belt driven. There's Tom the Tomcat. Cat. That looks sort of javelin like, doesn't it, uh, Tony? Um, javelin? What, like a dart? No, the like, no the javelin. Uh, from Kyosho, the javelin. It looks its frame is similar as the javelin version of the Kyosho javelin. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know the javelin. I've never heard of it. Cool. Uh, it There's a lot go, of go info, that's for sure. I'll, go to the Kyosho and I'll show them the javelin. Uh Kyosho Javelin. See, it has that similar frame. Do you see that, Tony? Yep. That looks like the other one. That looks like the Lobo and a lot of the other cars of that era. Mm -hmm. to me. That's still a pretty chassis. Yeah. It's all chassis. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even the old yeah, stuff panels. still handles quite well comparably. Action. What's under action? Hey, we can get manuals. Action is probably video. There, there's one. Kyosho Turbo Optima Runner, April 1st, 2004. So they're action shots of the Kyosho uh, Runner, up, uh, Turbo Optima. On a BMX track. Look at the front end's wider. It's wider than the rear. Mm. Cool. That's interesting. I think the die turned red on me. So, Tony, you're using a silver marker to mark your wheels? Yeah. What's the, what's the marking for? Ah, okay. You're doing the oh, wheel. Oh, okay. Oh, he's, 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 he's uh, making it more prominent, the rims. No, you need that wheels. Moloto. You need that Moloto pen for you to do that. Yeah. Well, uh, no, it doesn't. The Dukes of Hazard wheels don't shine, though. That's true. So I, I had a paint marker, but I think it's too shiny. So I came back to the marker. Marker. Semi gloss. I think it's gonna work once it. Uh, I was trying to get a half of it done. Okay, Frank. At least one wheel done to show. Neck cruiser says hey, that Frank, had some tiny. That had some tiny. Tiny front shock for an off-road. That last buggy, I guess, had tiny shocks in the front. Neck cruiser Which saying one? fancy for your wheel. Yeah, it's going to look the part. It's going to set that car off, I think. Well, you're not doing close-up of the rim or anything, so it should look good on the on, on the pictures of the car, yeah? Yes, yeah, 3D printed. Is it? So, I mean, it's I'll go gloss, back. Isn't it? hmm. This marker? The yeah. black will kind of show through it a little bit. It'll fade some. 
So I think it'll yeah. get more of that look once they get dirty. But yeah, they have the the hazard look. Which was semi gloss uh, rims, wasn't it? Are you getting the general lead decals, uh, Tony? Did you find some? Oh, it's already on. Okay. I already posted them on um, the community. I didn't do a video yet, but I had a whole descriptor about it. Yeah, there's a local guy here that just got his done also. Put his stickers on. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, they're not much. They're 15 bucks or something on Amazon. They're really easy to find. Okay. 10 scale. I thought they were... I I thought there were aluminum rims of that too. I haven't been able to find any rims that would work for it yet. I had to have somebody print them for me. There's um, some short course ones oh, that J Concepts I, makes, but they don't fit this type of wheel for an on road. Hmm. And they're um, aluminum, aren't they? The J Concepts ones? No. Yeah. Oh, I've seen, I swore I've seen aluminum in that, in that look. Actually, hey, Frank, I just found a. A Facebook page, uh, Kyosho Vintage. It's got a bunch of uh, the Kyoshos. Put the link in the chat. All right. Hey, hey Frank. Probably going to be a picture you? of Tank's shelf. <laughs> the backside he's not showing us. No, I don't have that many vintage. I only have two or three here. Well, it's only a matter of time before Frank buys them one by one. Some days. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? I have way too many of them to get. Nah, he's going to have uh, people that watch his show give them to him. <laughs> he seems to have more time. He's been putting up some videos. Sure. Let's see if Jack's lurking or not. <laughs> Frank, have you? I guess you haven't worked on those videos from last summer. No. Hey, can you go to a Harson website for RCs? Wait, what's that question? Carson, car, go to the Carson website. I don't know. How you, I know you can get parts to Carson. And they did have a, they do have a tie-in to Maya, but they actually have their own rigs too that they make. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. People sometimes rely on some of the Carson parts because they like them. Ah, shoot. I left my dog outside. I can hear barking. Uh-oh. Neighbors are going to complain. Yep. Let her in. How come that didn't link? What? You're not putting your link? Try to put it in chat. Uh, I tried to put it in the chat and it's not letting me for some dumb reason. Are you still looking for the Carson uh, RC website? Yeah. Well, this uh, on the bottom of this window, there is a chat also. You can put it there. There's a little bubble on yeah, the Yeah, I got it on two chat. different I got it on two different computers and two different screens. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I figured I'd just copy it and pull it up into one and put it into the other, but it's not letting me. I'm surprised Trap Critter isn't here. He's in there. Or was. I'm surprised he's not in video. Huh? Oh, you're in the dark again, Tony. Yeah, Tony's having issues with his camera again. The auto iris is not on. Did anybody get the Carson RC stuff? See you later, Kurt. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget, guys, give a thumbs up on your way in or on your way out.
So what kind of dog do you have, uh, Tony? A mutt. A mutt? Yep. Like the monster truck mutt? <laughs> yeah, just a whole bunch of mixed breed. Okay. Just looks like a normal dog, brown. Trail Critter RC says, I'm here just getting re things ready for the weekend. Oh, uh, well, I miss talking to him, though. I'm sure he oh, my son is going to be so busy this weekend on hockey. It's crazy. Uh, Friday night, we got a game. We got a game versus the Pee Wee, so the higher, higher age group. And if we lose, we got another game Saturday, but he might have three games on Saturdays. So two with his original team and one with the Pee Wee. Wow. So like, and if we win on Saturday, we're going to go back Sunday on third round of the playoff. So that's <laughs> pretty insane. That's four, four games in uh, three days. So no, five games, five games. Yeah. Five games in uh, three days. Crazy. Uh, RC propaganda says, I just took my dog out. So Tony let him in and uh, he let him out. So anybody be able to find the Carson website? I don't know what you mean by Carson. What, what, what That's the Carson? name of the company, Carson RC. Carson RC. Carson Model Sport? Yeah. They have RC cars, which actually look very nice. That's only some of their stuff. They have other stuff that you just... They have actual hobby-grade stuff. Do you think this is hobby-grade? Uh, some of it's people, and I know they have hobby-grade. They're also based with Maya. These are That's the very the small one, like the Hot Wheel size. The nanite, nanos. Yeah. I think that Bucky is, uh, might be hobby grade. There's more yeah, there. Yeah, that one does look like it. So is the Mercedes. That truck too. Mm-hmm. See, we can find all their their uh, hobby grade RC cars and trucks. This one and this one, yes, but not that one. No. Or that uh, uh, Sport RC, that's a model, it's a hobby. Those look like hobby grades, the Audi and the Volkswagen. 187th VW bus but look at the remote for it how big oh, the remote is compared to the car it's crazy. Oh, yeah. a storage case yeah. for the car and remote probably yes otherwise you'd lose that car <laughs> 187 yeah you know what they're full function they have lights and everything oh they have a one-fifth desert racer six to eight s one-fifth huh. that's Super. definitely that's definitely that's definitely uh, hobby grade, wouldn't you say so, Tony? I mean, by what I can tell from what I'm seeing, you would think so, but I mean, it all depends on how you define it. Yeah. And so it shows a toolkit, so good possibility. And, and a arms. A good looking truck. Yeah. What do you think, Tony? It actually doesn't look bad. I don't mind the body on it. And I like the tires in the rear. The That's Ford pretty Raptor sick. Body. Yeah. The two of them. But is it a Here two fifth scale, like a low C size, or is it a fifth scale, but it's a UDR? No, I think it's closer to the other one you were just talking about first. Oh, you must have the. Why do you think that? What What are you seeing that tells you that yeah, there's no dimension? So I don't know. The controller makes me think not. That's true. When it's next to it. It's 
going to try to find. Got to look at it. With yeah, but it might be guys. just a picture. It might be an insert. Yeah, we don't know if it was put there or not, or just cut in. Yeah, copy paste. See, when you look at it like that, it looks tiny. Mm hmm. That's definitely a larger nut wrench there. Yeah. What is that, 17 millimeters? Also, it's like a 17 millimeter. Yeah. I mean, it's possible it's the size of a 5T. But 6 to 8S is not going to be very fast on that. And this is a plastic chassis and all that. I didn't see. Yeah, but they're putting like 12 plus S in the 5Ts. <laughs> Just like well, in the sub scale, he's putting 18 or 16 in at the rich. Well, when I look at the shock tower here, it, it looks plastic. It looks. To me, it looks aluminum. The shock yeah, looks plastic. The tower is not. Yeah. It's got sway bars. Hmm. Do they sell parts there? No, yes. the website is kind of vague. They, I know that people have gotten in the United States cars and parts for various RCs, so they do. You can't get their parts, but I want to know if you get their. No, I'm RCs. saying, do they have the parts on the site? So you can maybe tell a little bit easier. Yeah. I can't believe you no. didn't have dimensions or anything. No, that's what I found weird also. There's no dimension. One fourteen scale six wheel drive truck, it looks like. Oh look, they got they got brushed motors there. And fans. Trailers. What's that trailer? Yeah, there's a bunch of trailers here at the beginning. Look at that. Here. Nice big long trailer here. Did, Low did rider. You, you, Where are they based out of? Do we know? I think they're Germany, but they have ties to Tamaya. So, but they also make their own stuff because Tamaya doesn't have a good scale. They never went bigger than eight when they made gas powered cars. I have ties to Tamaya. You know exactly I bought you one. That ties me to them. <laughs> you know what I mean. As an they owner share, of a Tamiya. I would call it some shares of them. a Tamiya. But... See, that's what I, I don't like about this site, kind of, because it does look plastic. But, I mean, there's no information. There's no size. There's no product information. Uh, no PDF. Um but to me, this looks all plasticky. The let's see here. I think Frank does like the trailers, though. It looks like that's a nice, very nice long trailer. Nice looking trailer. Service. Maybe go to service or shop. About. Go to Bart Carson. Well, so, yeah, like you said, like Brad said, there's shop right next to about the about. Maybe it'll give you a little more info on them. True. Model finder. Diecast, plastic, RC, and slot. Brand Carson RC Sport. Price, it's all in euro, 100. Well, I don't want to. Up there near the top or my basket, if you switch that, maybe it'll, where the flag is. Dutch and Francais and English. Yeah. The highest is 100, 100 euros. They have also construction vehicles, which are nice, ready to control construction vehicles. They have an interesting, uh, they have an interesting uh, radio transmitter too that looks like a Sega unit or a Sony unit. Hmm. I 
shopping basket is empty. Carson. Yeah, Carson, Tamia, uh, Marjorette. What's that mean? Tiki Toy. That's a company, Marjorette. They make little uh, Hot Wheel cars. Okay. What's it mean in French? <laughs> Sounds like a name. Yeah, it's just a name brand. Just oh. like Tamia is a name brand. To yeah. Tell me, what does Tamia stand for? What does it mean? I don't know. I think it's named after the guy who started the company back when they were making just static models. Electrical car. Nitro yeah. powered car, one tenth. Nitro powered, one fifth. There's two of them. What? Buggies. Here's a one fifth uh, wild. It looked like a. Uh, 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 the one with an R. It starts with an R. The R. It looks like a Revo or Rob. What was it called? Ro Brush Roman. this car. Wow, they're about eight. They're eight hundred dollars in the euro. Eight hundred euros. Yeah, but this is like yeah. a five B. It's like a HPI. That means it's over a thousand dollars. Well, yeah, that's what the other ones are worth about. Oh, that's definitely two fifth scale. Look at it, the rating compared to it. Yeah. But again, the, the remote looks like it's copy paste because the remote is not that big beside this car. Yeah, I was just yeah. I just did uh, just looked up the euro the currency exchange. Yeah. In the euro, it's eight hundred and fifty three dollars US and eleven hundred and forty four Canadian. Cool. That, Here's what one over of, here, ready to run what orange. Think, what do you what do you think of the bucks? blue and orange uh, Volkswagen? The Beetle here, two wheel yeah. drive. Do you have monster truck? Tony wants a monster truck. I have enough monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> what's your next then? What's your next to go into your stable besides a monster truck? What's the next thing going in mine? Uh, yeah. Well, Saturday, <laughs> uh, the Axial SCX24 Chevy truck that they showed. That oh, a crawler. Little crawler. It's a 24th scale. Okay. For my little track back there. Um, How's that coming along, by the way? It is there. It's a bunch of mountain-looking rocks, but I haven't put any grass or anything on it yet. They had another buggy with a beetle body with blue and white. There's some crawlers. There's a crawler. I don't think he cares. Solid axle. And it has a H, uh, it has a Hummer H3 body on it or something. I don't know if, if me personally, I, I would not buy a Carson. First of all, it's probably hard to get, and parts of it'll be for me in Canada is going to be very rare, so. Well, I know that okay, people have been but... buying them left and right in your country, in our country. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like upgrades, like shocks and stuff. Some other things, gears, Indians. There's, there's way too many other companies right now in the game um, that are that can offer you better service and better quality and better product for the price. So... I, I'd buy a Banggood car before buying a car from Carson. Even though they have a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of variation from toy to hobby grade. Hmm. Uh. What's going on in the chat? 
Jones RC just popped in, I think, or I just happened to catch him. Who? Jones RC. Oh. Saying any long day of work. Uh, RC Basher Boy, sing happy birthday in French tank. <laughs> okay. Nobody wants to hear me sing, do they? I'd like to know what Basher Boy is sending his truck out that he wants to give away. Basher Boy's giving a truck away? Yeah, he's giving, uh, he's giving, uh, you know, like I have uh, that armor. He has a two wheel drive truck, the granite two wheel drive. Oh, he's yeah. giving away. But I haven't seen anybody get it on one of their sites or channels, mm. which he said he was going to. Do you have anything to say about that? Don't know. Hey, Earl, Earl RC, it's his birthday t uh, today. Happy birthday. Hey, Alvin, to happy Earl. birthday. Happy birthday to Earl. And Brad and Jack. <laughs> mute. Axiomatic says mute button is ready. <laughs> Bonne fight. So Frank, is there a... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Frank, when are you coming to the States to do something? When am I going to the States? I'm going to the States next month. Where? Uh, the 18th. Uh, is it the 18th? Yeah, 18th to the 22nd. I'm going to Las Vegas. Oh, so you're going to be on the opposite end of the country of me than me. Way the other end. And, and Harley Design uh, is doing a, uh, there's a competition going down in Vegas. And it's actually going on right now. So, or no, not right now. It's going to be this weekend, I believe. So, like, I'm a month, like, beside, or not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, so, the competition is in March, and I'm going the month right after, like, day for day. So, darn. So, you, you, you're, uh, I thought in the spring, some of you were coming around my neck of the neighborhood. Your camera was cutting out. I barely heard your last sentence. I thought uh, this spring or summer you were coming out with me. Well, I don't know when I'm going to go or what I'm going to do yet in the summer. Tony could drive by my place too. He's planning on going to somewhere in Indiana, so he could do that. Ah, uh, your 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 audio is cutting out real bad. Your your I don't know why. So I don't know what's going on. Raggy says he's going to be out out in uh, Vegas the 21st spring. Oh, yeah? He said that in the chat. Let's see. So NAB show is the NAB April 19th to the 22nd. That's when I'm going to be there. And the show in Vegas for the uh, – Crawler, Pro, Show, whatever, is actually the 18th to the 22nd of March. So, missed it by one month. Uh, Earl, Earl RC, 33 years young today. Hmm. I'm 51 tomorrow. Yeah, the comp in Vegas is not till the 18th. Cool. No. AZ Froggy. Are you in Vegas, uh, AZ Froggy? Or are you going to be there on the 18th also? Tony, you to the Midwest soon? What? You coming to the Midwest soon? Oh, not that I know of. Um, if anything, it's going to be for the Badlands thing. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if that's going to sell out the actual one. I don't know if that's limited space. 
So I haven't signed up yet. Um, it's Indiana. Okay. And then the, um, what? Are you going to drive? Probably not. I'll probably fly. I fly most places now. Did you uh, find out if you're, the company is going to send you to Vegas for any B? No, I don't think so. They're okay. kind of on a lockdown with trips right now because of the virus. Okay. Yeah. And big events or anything like that. Hey, Frank, has any bad hit your country? Yeah, the virus is here. But so is the flu, and more people die of the flu than they yeah. do of that virus right now. So right, yeah, I'm like I don't have any like pre-existing conditions, <laughs> or I'm not at risk. Mm -hmm. But I know that there is none whatever. in Ohio. They, they haven't had one a uh, uh, case in Ohio yet, which is weird. Where where in Indiana is the that competition, Tony? Some Badlands Park, Badlands Motocross Park, or Badlands. Don't know exactly. <laughs> Net Cruiser RC says, Net Cruiser RC says, uh, I've still never been to Vegas. I need to go before they run out of water or COVID 19 zombie rice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He showed a video on the uh, $19 million Bugatti. Is it a brand new type of Bugatti? Yeah, he's been busy at car shows and a bunch of other places. So I just went to mine last weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still debating if I am going to bring an RC truck in Vegas or not. Um, last time I brought one, I didn't even use it. So I don't know. I didn't have a chance of using it. So if ever I go down and I meet up with somebody, hopefully they have a spare truck I can use. It's going to be easier. Oh, okay. I'm hoping someone can stop by me this year, finally. Okay. I don't know who. Don't know. If you're in the area, which area, which city are you in, uh, Brad? Cleveland area. So if you're in that area, go visit him. I've heard COVID was coming, so I rushed out to buy milk, egg, and bread. <laughs> yeah, people are going crazy. It, it it is kind of bad. It is, but it's been attacking a lot of older people. Hey, wait a minute, I'm old. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, they say older people are getting affected, unlike the uh, swine flu, which affects the children more. Yeah. Kind of weird. Especially if their immune system's already beat, yeah. beat down. That's where it's, it becomes a problem. And especially the respiratory system. Yeah. They say it's more like, uh, um, they say that Corona is more like, uh, um, what, do, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Pneumonia. Type of pneumonia. Okay. And I know some of the guys have been posting pictures right now in Vegas of uh, there's a big show going on and there there's a whole bunch of real one to one cars. Um, they're friggin' nice. There's mid four hundred. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You're talking about the you're talking about the uh, what do I call it? Is might be going on. Uh, that show that they have a SEMA. No, that's already done. This is the Mint 400. Oh. Yeah, Mint 400. Uh, oh, then it's, then it's what you would call it. Uh, NASCAR. No, it's uh, like off road trucks, like short course trucks. Oh, oh for RC? Cause I, cause I, no, it's the big ones, one to ones. Horizon Hobbies, yeah, they just released that Mint 400. Um, what is it? The Baja Ray. Yeah. Yep. Fox RC World says a low C Mint 400 truck looks so good. Yeah, it's, you know, it looks bigger in pictures every time I see it. Mm -hmm. but, I, know um, one of the low, I know one of the low C's is actually longer than all the fifth scales out right now. 
I know the Sailors just had uh, one of the low seas, but it's the one before the change. It just showed, and it's longer than the Creighton and the X Max. Right. Yes. And it's a double wishbone rear suspension model. Hmm. What's the name of that one with the double wishbone in the rear of the Swiss scale, Tony? From low seas. The Super Baja Ray? Yes, the left side or something like that. The left. They've got that, then they've got the Rock Ray. They're, I think, it's six scale. Wish. I thought there was a fifth scale that has a double wish one in the rear. The buggy. The 5B? Yeah. Have you driven one of those 5Bs? I've done the 5 buggy, yeah. I mean, there's the... Yeah. the trophy truck and the buggy those are what i've driven i haven't driven the monster really truck well. what the buggy handles well doesn't it yeah well the one i drove was souped up it was super powerful oh yeah yeah it I was know, wicked i know that, I know that the uh people starting to get longer arms the am front and rear of the max hmm. you heard about that tony no, nah, you're breaking up. I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing a little bit. Yeah, your your audio is real bad. So uh, it's 11:30 anyways. It's 11:30 anyway, so we're gonna shut it down. Uh, some of us are gonna stick around for the after hour show. So uh, oh, now I'm hearing myself back through uh, Brad's. Oh, it's gone now. Okay. So anyways, let's go do a round table and uh, John Martin, you go first and say bye. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, it was nice seeing all the vintage Tamayas and uh, happy birthday, Brad. Thank you, John. Tony from CCXRC. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Brad, happy birthday, and we'll see you Thank next you. week. Thank you very much for jumping in. Appreciate it. And I'm going to say bye, too, because I'm going to give the last word and the goodbye to uh, Brad. Since it's his birthday, he's going to close off the show with the last words and uh, telling everybody bye. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. I hope it was informative for you guys, especially going through all those old Tamiya memory lanes. That was kind of cool. So without any further ado, here's the man of the hour, Brad Callen. Thanks, Frank, for doing this, and thanks for everybody for joining us tonight. I hope uh, to see you guys next week, but uh, I hope uh, that I'll be hearing more from all of you. Thank you. Thank you.